a freaking gator. They find a gator in the ditch on Monday at the course we're playing the Chickasaw. Not the disc. No, the <laughs> actual alligator, like a seven foot or two. What up world? I'm back, but there's no Matty O show this week. This time it is a team show. It's not only that, but it's a team warlord show. Got special guest Cy Nanda here. I'm super awesome to be here. We're out here at the Emporia Country Club getting a little practice round in and we're gonna show you some of kind of our discs, some of our flights and maybe some changes to the course and it should be a super awesome round. Maybe even some magic tricks. Maybe even some magic tricks. Let's go to the course. <laughs> So after six weeks off, I'm back. I pulled stickers off new drivers. It's that part of the year, the second half. I ain't even got a name for this one yet. I feel I'm gonna just call it Jameson again. I like I like that name. I think I've only lost like two discs this season so far. Don't litter, everybody. <laughs> stick it. Don't stick them on baskets or benches either. <whistles> Come on. Oh, she just keeps going. That's something. That's something. Super glidey. Not the spot, but. Like super glidey. You just kept going straight. Glidey. Ooh, we flying stable out here. That was my flippy driver in Oregon. Two on the first, always. Oh, yes, yes, yes. And maybe more if I get frustrated. I like the look of that one. Nice Ate my Wheaties this morning. <laughs> Told you to put on some. There it is. One more shot out. How does living over there? All the better. That's like the one part it funnels the most right in there too. <laughs> it's like all yeah, the all like gravity's even pushing you right there. I've always noticed though on this tee though, even though it's the first tee and everybody wants to show off and it's got the big fairway, I don't really think distance is like necessarily big. I've thrown a bar off this one. Just don't throw nothing one. like. Yeah. That'll play, that'll play. Since I got side of the group today, I'll try out my bear. Ooh. Put my bear in play. <laughs> Not my bear, my bear. Sounds like a mobile beer term. My bear. My bear. <laughs> I'm gonna try my bear. That's pretty, Ooh. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Got I like that nice, bear, man. Yeah. Got some good turn on that. It does. It's been hashtag trending the last month. It kinda. Bear. You just didn't realize my bear hit a few more trees than yours, so it had a little <laughs> yeah. more glide on it, you know. What's your bear choice? I like those proto bears. I like the the burst ones that my honestly mine are my favorite, I think. Ain't gonna lie, fans, I might be doing an eye doctor check for y'all. I don't, I can't tell if this is 320 or 250, so we'll see what the doctor says at the end of the day. Might just be buying myself a bush nail. Ooh, was that your harp? That is my harp. Dude, I haven't gotten to throw it yet, but I think I'm gonna like it. I like it a lot. I pulled it over every time, even at the beach, and it always comes left. So. Okay, that's really good to that's know. A, that's big. Because my, my harp's the harp, been... sometimes, you know, you throw it. If you pull it over, sometimes they don't want to come back. If you throw it flat, it'll do the yeah. turn thing. But that one, and I feel like I'm they're pretty it. durable, too. And it's got, like, dome I like the little dome, the other actually. Ones. Yeah. I think it... I think I'm gonna like it. Because usually they have the little sucking down thing. So yeah. It's kind of a little change of pace. A little change of pace. I just kind of like to, I don't know, if I've got a short putt, I just like to lengthen it out a little bit. I don't like to not putt during a round. And then you get like a 40 footer and you're like, <laughs> I haven't putted in nine holes. 
That's when you got to do the air pump, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The practice pump. That's all, that's all we get, you know. Got to use what we can get. Got to use. All right, it's the same hole. Same putt when I was four back last round at World Championships, and I needed it. I missed it. So I get a revenge for the world to see putt. And he does the same dang thing. <laughs> All good though. So I got some exciting news to bring to y'all. One of the big questions I always get while I'm on the course is where did you get that polo and how I get it? Well now you can get, actually get you a Matteo custom polo. So I've teamed up with Flight Factory Disc to do some Matteo polo. So if you want your Matteo polo, Flight Factory Disc, that's where you get it. All right, let's. Let's keep throwing it until I can give it a, give it a name. Majesty. Haven't even distinguished if it's a male or female yet, Frisbee, you know. It's just the it so far. You watch Spongebob? I used to all the time, and the kids, yeah, I Spongebob, watch Spongebob. had a seahorse named Majesty. Majesty? I don't know, I'm just throwing Majesty. it out there. <laughs> oh, Majesty. It would be an honor. Wow! Oh, Majesty. I want a rope as they say. Right. Ah, biscuits. Such a weird shot for me. I'll that tee box makes that ante a little tricky yeah. too, because you got to kind of jump onto it. But I kind of like your straighter throw. Seems like, you know, don't, don't mess around with left and right and wind. That's money. There we go. See, the thing that bugs me about that though is it's so far to the right. So it like completely pinches off my second shot. Let me, I got one, I got one more in me. Let's, maybe if we like, I exactly. This hole's a lot trickier than it looks from the no, T2 whenever yeah, you seriously. get up there. And that second shot's super important. I didn't even think about that. But. So I'm going to like, Exaggerate the Anheuser a little more. Yeah. Still just didn't come out of it. Huh. That's funky. Maybe I should just take it short. Just like throw a putter. Let's see that Phillips 66 93 octane out of you. Okay. That, that 93 octane circle two could have gotten it higher never actually said the octane part in my life it's just always 93 87 91 around here they got like 85 and i think i even saw one below that whenever you get in iowa it gets below 85 i think i don't want none of that in my gas tank i'm just saying i don't want nothing below 87 just personal personal preference not that i'm balling or nothing adder recently added to the Stock this new run's pretty overstable. I highly recommend if you're ready for those clunkers and just you know roof shingle over stable shots, you got your adder. Roof shingle, you're gonna have roof to learn you gonna yeah. have to learn me roof. that phrase. Roof shingle stable. Oh. Roof shingle, I gotcha. I was hoping to see it like do a little skip. Yeah, a little, <laughs> yeah, a little something. Ooh. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. My putting's been looking stellar this year, though. So speaking of magic tricks, how'd you put that extra 50 feet of distance on this year? Um, so one thing, I don't know what it was, but like, I'm kind of like, I'm really into like visualization and meditation when it comes to disc golf. So I spend more time in here than I do like on the field working on throws. And there's just something about Jennifer Allen's form that I think she's really onto something with how she pivots so far uh -huh. on that left foot, right. but never, but then comes upright. She never like leans forward. So I really tried to like give myself that like full reach back. So it puts all everything in that left yeah. leg to help explode. The so whole... it allows, it's like, 
instead of reaching back with my arm, I'm reaching back with my body. Yeah, and it kind of helps cheat that to yeah. keep that locked in. And so gotcha. then I'm like spring loaded right here. I'm like spring loaded and then puts me in like, yeah. It's just a weird little meditation. So yeah, we said yeah. we had some magic tricks for y'all. Little, yeah. little breakthroughs. Yeah. No, just... I was in the parking lot and I told uh, Corey Murrow, he's like my best friend on tour. I was like, I've never met Cy. Si. We're doing a video today. And he's like, you saying uh, how it's, uh, you put like 50 feet on last year and it's just like super impressive it's, and awesome yeah. and stuff. So I had to throw it out there, you know, it's, a little bit. It's been a, it's been a long time coming. Like I started with a full run in and then I went to standstills. And then I graduated to the little three step that I mm -hmm. got going on right now. And then it's just kind of been like perfecting that, that Cause, three step. Cause I watched Houston and you can't really tell how people, how far people throw on camera sometimes, but it's I remember odd, like, yeah. man, she can put like a mug. And then they were <laughs> like, well, she put like 50 feet on this year. I was like, okay, I'm gonna see what. Putting I'll... in, putting in my work, just waiting for my time to get out here. That's right. Warlord mentality. Right here, right now, empty basket. Right here, right now. Let's go! Oh, that's what I'm talking Make up about. for that Dude, world championship putt on hole one. I was hyping you up so hard. Let's go. Right here, Boom. right now, empty basket. It's Boy in. Lord mentality today. <laughs> Matt Bell gave me that putter. When anybody that's a putting world champion gives you a putter specific, specifically for you, you know what you do? You put it in the dang bag right away. Thanks, Matt Bell. Tricky. It's tricky. I almost sometimes just like the, if it's like a certain amount of wind, just go ahead and concede and take my three and yeah. get off of it. I I'm totally agree. So early too. And, and especially with the wind that can happen out here, you know, like you gotta, sometimes you gotta take the bird in the hand, even if it's a par. <laughs> hmm. Got the good wind today. I gotta get, and we got the people watching. What do you think this good for wind the people. is? It's not for my own self you? dignity and my tournament results. This is for the people. So I'll, Left I might right. bust out that bear. Left the bear's head is a good wind. What is it about disc golf tournaments that they always got to cut the week of? They can't do it the week before. Because um, it's got to be It's got to be fresh. done. It's got to be, be fresh. fresher okay. than fresh. I'm going to say that's out of bounds. Okay. Just from, it was decent looking though. Ah, now that! Well, stayed in bounds. All right. Safe. I might just have to do this. I was wondering if you were going to pull the four in out. Oh, I have to. I got my new Ricky Raider, too. I like Ooh. It. it was a little too cold earlier in the year for this this style of run. Yeah, so yeah. Sun's out. It's Gosh, back. I love that plastic it's so back. much. See, it's a good thing I didn't throw it earlier in the year. I would have cut that tree down. Got homie Albert's list of pro. We'll see this just because I want to see what it's about. This new Roll Tide Edition Orbit Trust. Oh, come on. Mm, come on. Dang it. Now you're. Oh, why okay. you got to go and inspire me? It's an inspirational frisbee. See, just a little bit more left and it's juiced. Nice bid. And a perfect nice layup. Touch. I'm taking that. And this is the one thing you do not want to do. The one no-no of this all is throw an OB. See if I can make up for it though. Empty basket. Right here, right now. Ooh, that's a good run. Yeah, it was good. Whoa. Working on all kind of new golf cart tricks today. Good. That tree's a little ruthless, but there's no roof on that one for sure. I think one more. If I throw something a little more stable, it might work. Oh, 
Oh, she gave up. Yeah, it died down a little. Huh. Had the same kind of thing going on as yeah. last one. Similar ballista and a ballista pro, but like remarkably similar flight. And 423. They're not making that easy. They don't look 433 for some it reason though. It looks more it looks like, like 378 three, yeah, or something. Yeah, 380. You know, yeah, I, I like three feet to the left, and that was. I know. And even I think that I, was like stellar. kissed off a bird's wing up there. See the little <laughs> bird? I did. Mm. That was buttery. I just flight. love the gray so much. I seriously, me too. Dude, it's so universal. It's for everybody too. It's not serious. Just, yeah. You could give it to anybody, and the grace will work for. It's somebody. got like the distance of a like a high speed, but the, the ease of throw of like a fairway drive. And it's very forgivable. Like even if you throw it hard, it doesn't really drastically change from throwing it soft. Yeah, you know, kind of like how we were talking about on hole one. How like if you turn it over, sometimes like it turns exactly. over way too much. Mm -hmm. I think that like really they manage that characteristic in the flight. Yeah, it's real so forgivable. Well. I like that about it's it. Such an easy to Especially for such a glidey disc too. Yeah. It's it's super nice, especially as a woods player. I mm. love it for shots exactly like that. I love the grace. It saves my ass. Makes me look good too, I ain't gonna lie. That just could have given it more heights, but I liked it. Good putt. Naturally, I run down my putts because I'm like super excited. I'm like, yeah, and I run them down. But then I see Paige like I walking know. it down like a boss. And I'm like, maybe I should, I should change up the, you know like, I, the mood that you bring. You, you know? know what I hate is whenever I make a putt and then I feel like I got to run and get out the way. Like it's like, <laughs> like, like, yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, like oh yeah. God, I got to hurry up. Even though I made my putt to get out the way, I hate that feeling. So like, I really think people like, Take your just kind of relax. Get it out. You you got you earn your right to go get it out at yeah. whatever delicacy you want. You know. Right at your leisure. Yeah, exactly. Kind of. Okay. Yeah, I See, appreciate that. I say just go go with the flow. Free Be will. natural. Oh, that was bottom and top. <laughs> what? Flush. We'll get all the misses out the way already. There, bud. Oh, Majesty. Put her bud. there. Ha! Bye bye. So the grace was a little on the understable side. I thought I would try and let it like flip up naturally, but I think it's a little bit windy out there. Nice pull. Not bad, not bad. I was a little sad, but she's there. Courses like this, I always try to tell myself, because in practice, I could just throw a spike every time, but I'm like, would I really do that in a tournament? So let me really, if I was playing, what would I really do? Eh. Yeah. When you got this like the angel, you got you got to throw that all day. Especially that angel. I love busted. I get so much hate on that disc, but I freaking love it because it parks it every time. So I just go. Nice. There we go. I hope I have that second shot in the tournament. I highly doubt it, but. I love that hole though. I love the hole because no matter where you land, left or right, you could be three feet over and it completely changes the aspect of what you can do and can't do on the second or third shot, depending on how it works. But I've always liked this hole. It used to be hard as hell. I ain't gonna lie, this hole was like so scary because it was like back in the, the old days where new OB on both sides was just kind of getting introduced and now it's just normal. I really love the, the technicality because it's like not, it's not a far shot. Mm-hmm. 
but you still have, cause, but it's still like 300. So you still have to throw it like decently, you know, mm -hmm. you have to muscle it, but still finesse it like around that corner nicely. I'm surprised they didn't throw a little inanimate object in there somehow or some, some yeah, I wonder why they cut it. If it was like diseased or if it was like coarse design, I would, I would hope and assume that it was just, yeah, diseased and they didn't or, want the storm or one of those oh two. that is true that yeah is we're true. on the tornado been, uh, i've almost like not died here but i've definitely been as scared as i've ever been in this town before during storm dude in in waco this year i was camping and two days in a row there were tornadoes what my tent yeah like 60 plus mile an hour winds my tent literally like collapsed on uh, me uh, in the middle of the night it, yeah me and my me, me and him we're sitting in our prius watching our tent just like <laughs> In the Texas yeah, tornado. We're like, wait, <laughs> is this is this dangerous? This just went from like inconvenient and unpleasant to like, wait a minute, do I need to find shelter? Do I need to like go to a high school like somewhere? Like, yeah, it was. It was That's crazy, crazy. Cause I have the same memory as my dad, but we were in a pop up, which is a little more or less scary. But I remember <laughs> back in the day at this Mardi Gras madness, it was every night and is in New Orleans on the like levee banks, this old private course. And all of a sudden, we hear the the tornado sirens, yeah. and then all of a sudden, the canopy, boom, goes up, and it's like five o'clock in the morning, as if on like, cue. Yeah. Oh my God, I won't ever forget it. Get up, and it was like red outside. Wow. No bueno. No bueno. I won't ever forget it. <sighs> Here, the lady, the the lady that the host hotel, it's like the Spangles. You got the little bruffs, and then you got the little rough looking gas station right there. The hotel across the street. We were third floor, and she came and knocked on my door, and that's like. They'll talk about that makes your heart race because first you uh -huh. know the friend knock and then you know like the something's, something's up, up knock. knock or the yeah. cop knock and you're like oh shoot this is urgent that was knock. one of those knocks and they're like y'all need to get downstairs now we're like oh, oh talk about being scared then you look out the window and it's black and it's like 4 30 i was like oh, i don't oh. want to fly away kansas yeah i'm gonna throw my roof shingle give it I didn't try to sound like a redneck earlier with my roof shingle, but I have this idea no, of no, this I event mean... where you use completely inanimate objects and you score and see how it works, you know, like. Like, I've literally had nightmares like that. Like, where you like step up to a teapad on hole one and all of a sudden you've got like, into a, a brick in your hand. Yeah, or, or a brick, you're like, oh no. But, it's like a nightmare. But I was like seeing how creative all the golfers can get. Yeah. Like, you know, you could. Like and it's for like me, bring your thinking, own? like you know, I said like the roof shingle would be my overstable disc. The paint lid would be like my. And so it's you know, all bring my, your own, like my the pitching wedge, you the know, or whatever. Lid. And then the boomerang would be my escape <laughs> disc. And, you know, you could come up with all kinds of stuff. You know. Actually, I think there's a guy on Instagram that does that, and he sees that like if he can get a par on a hole with like a random object. Yeah, shoot marbles. You yeah, know, I or... think he had like a balloon, or like I think he did a medicine ball. Medicine did, ball. Yeah, like medicine ball off of the tee. All right, and all right. That that wasn't a three for him, but I think that's a fun idea. Yeah, let's see what everybody. You know where I came up with it though. The movie Tin Cup, because he ends up beating them with all the inanimate objects, yeah. like the shovel and all that, and the baseball bat with the thing. That's, so it's just kind of. That would that be really fun. So it kind of got my brain for like, like a rolling. fundraiser or yeah, like, like a like, just like that, a good you know. time. Oh, she roof shingled. The roof shingle. Wow. Oh. Nice. Bonafide roof shingle. I got the warship. It's a good disc. At 300 feet, let's see what it does. All right, she's a little short. Maybe we should try the, that one was the understable one. This is the overstable one. Really? At least she's gonna stay more stable though. Yeah. Yeah. I like That'll that disc. Way better. Love the gatekeeper too. That's been a fantastic addition to my bag. I feel like this is almost like a two-stroke putt because I freaking hate par in this hole. Boom. Yeah, I feel like you have to get this hole. This is one of the holes out here that we break down the video and you're like, you really just 
got to buckle down and get this one. If you want to hang in the competition this week, this is definitely the first hole that comes to mind, for sure. I almost felt like that was a two-stroke putt there because I freaking hate par in this hole so much. So it's totally an advantage of having like a little three-step, my mm -hmm. little like I can I can just dance around like anywhere on that tee pad and shape. Dude, like, the Mississippi three angle. the Mississippi three-step is crucial. I'm telling you. It's just the <laughs> Mississippi three-step. I have never. <laughs> it's clutch, especially on hillsides and stuff. In the yeah. It, all right, let me listen to my own self. Careful. I might get an echo. Uh-uh. I remember throwing a felon. I remember throwing a long bowman on this one. I like that. Yeah, it's that flow. I love that. You throw the flow! Oh, I love the flow. Underrated disc. I never, I only bagged it for a short time, but such a good disc. Boom. Plus. I wonder. Well, I was a little higher than I wanted. Oh, you. It's a little long. <laughs> Wasn't bad. Don't shut the hole down. You just wanted to putt with me? Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Great shot. Sorry. Somebody hooked me up with another bar. I, I need to find one bad. Just letting y'all know. VIP. Up. Old school. I'll be your best friend. Man, this hole's going to be so much fun. <laughs> Love this hole. This is one of my favorite out here for sure. Now, to the big stretch of the course right here. Yeah. In my opinion, the next six is what makes or breaks you on this course. Let's try it. Come on, Fred. Wow, way to trust it. Wait. <gasps> wow, only you. Jeez. Dog. That was too funny. I told, I told Felix right here, I said, I think I put on 40 feet today. And I ripped the first shot into the neighborhood. I said, I didn't say which way. I just said I did. I needed, that meant to happen because I need to throw this one here. It was brand new. All majesty. All majesty. All right. I can't throw that far, so no funny business with the warship. I said I can't give it a receiver name this year because we had no good receivers last year for Bama. So she named it Majesty. <sighs> we need the ones that developed. I haven't really <laughs> seen the, uh, you know, ever since the transfer, transfer portal well, so busy, nobody knows nothing, though, because it's so... I guess it's just kind of like... That was my warship, just to like take it chill. I guess it's just going to be like a nail biter, you know? Yeah. Do both. I've been SpongeBob big toeing it the whole time. Like. Vandal. Money. I have had some beautiful shots with that disc this year. Like, it was flying so good. Wait till you try the new Vandals. They're super epic. That Ricky Vandal. Ooh, so oh, like stable. Oh my, they're really good. Yes, you'll love it. I'm excited for that. I'm excited so for that. So my tournament. A freaking gator they find a gator in the ditch on monday at the course we're playing chickasaw not the disc no that <laughs> actual alligator like a seven foot or two Jeez. so the, the the city the park we're like tell nobody to swim in there because we don't have time to order alligator signs before so we don't want no lawsuits out tell everybody don't swim in the water until after the tournament's over hell no dude six people come with stacks of discs that i probably got yelled at because i got turned into lost and found and they, all that like and I literally told everybody, like, don't do it. Kind of hurt my feelings. So I was like, I guess I'm not badass enough for them to listen, man. I'm going to have to get, right? I'm going to have to get meaner, man. Like, there's, there's a freaking respect. alligator out there. Don't, 
Yeah. But I still were just kind of like, I'm looking out for you. Yeah. I kind of just aim for that tree, realistically, anyways. I feel like if you're hitting it going flat, it ain't gonna do nothing wrong. I don't know what this, I feel like this is, what is this, like my one, is this like 150? Yeah, that should be your money. For some reason, like this season, this distance putter shot is like the hardest shot for me. I don't understand, like the last hole at Portland with like the Heiser approach shot on 18, like that should have been underneath the basket is literally like 150 feet. So for some reason, this is just like a weird, it's a weird like yippy shot for me. So I'm really trying to like put some extra focus into it, figure out what I'm like afraid of. Cause I shouldn't be afraid Such of nothing. Move. I'm afraid of just like blasting it, but I know what I'm afraid of, but I know I shouldn't be afraid of it. See what I mean? Yeah. Nice. Thank nice you. flex. That Matty of Heart. Oh, Love. I wish I would have brought it. I wish I would have brought it. I uh, know. It went straight down, though. I do like just throwing it at the tree, just pretending it's not there, keeping it flat. Yeah. Nothing just wrong it, Letting it trickle, not messing around. Putting is fun. There we go. Is it, is that three? Pass yeah. three. What's that? that? Was that three? Four. Ah, four. yeah, yeah. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Solid. Now, you three of this all you bad mofo. Yeah, you are you'd have so to, like, uh, You'd have to do some maneuvering. Keeping it in. But yeah, this hole, this hole can easily sneak up on you and just bite right up on you. Got to got to put that tee shot in play don't get greedy don't get greedy the second shots where i think people get the greediest too they try That's to push it back here me. too far That's but exactly really it. from this tree to here i mean fundamentals all day we you know how much i talk about my fundamentals that's a fundamental so don't push it past the tree too much keep it safe keep it real so here's the thing today we're only doing course review holes on the new holes so here's the first of our new ones right here hole nine country club par four par five for the ladies and we got some new rules here this year we're letting you be as aggressive as, as aggressive as possible and if you go left ob you have the option to either take it from where it landed or go to the drop zone which last year during the world championships and the other you would go to the drop zone automatically but if you don't cross over this little white wall right here you got to go to the drop zone too so there's still that in play i like the option a lot i do too yeah i think and that then, that's same aspect of the hole. I heard it's a little cleaner up there, so we'll see what we got. I'm gonna try to throw this Melton Maverick right down the pipe with this, as I call it, my two iron. The two iron. <sighs> oh, that was really pretty, man. That was. I that was real I pretty. won't throw it that good in the tournament, but uh, you can only hope. I, I wish. You I can would only wish. I can only hope. hope. <sighs> the Maverick. I love that disc. I've been throwing it so good this last month too. I love, I love these tunnel shots. These are so fun. I've got like a whole veritable pantheon of discs, but I think I just want to go straight and neutral. And we were talking about the warship. The warship. Straight, neutral. Gonna have amazing glide. Spit out a little. She's a little pinched. She's starting to get a little pinched. pinched. So I think, think that we one. could step up to the vandal. It's been flying really good. A little more glide. Yeah, that that warship might have turned itself into a woods warship. That's not going to give me a wind read. I'm relying on my hair to do a wind read. Close. I just I think, so good for I think you there. that one, yeah. I think that's solid. Stick to that. Thank you. Let me try this flow. I love the width you're taking. Ooh, 
<laughs> yeah, I really. Your little late right turn on there. I love the the width you're taking. I actually changed my mind. I kind of just want to hit. It's <sighs> lucky. All right, didn't get the fix I wanted, but we'll feel it out. We'll feel it out tomorrow. Easy peasy. I get it. You're throwing back to. <laughs> oh, Go. get in there. He's putting. Something, something. Putting on the on the dance floor at yeah. the I need a little uphill putt anyways for a little practice. That was an old school warden, like a lucid yeah. warden. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, girl, baby, what is you doing? Like, come on. Ah, le yeah, left is not where you want to be. Green flag is what you're looking for. Let's check this out. Oh, right freaking there. That was fun. This is like my favorite green out here. I, love I know, this isn't this nice? Yeah, uh, I like it. I mean, other than the freeway noise, it's pretty. If I can do that, I'd be so stoked. That was the front nine. Check out the back nine on Ace Run Pro. Here we're going back to it.